In this video, we're going to go over the basic setup of the laser cube. If you have the accessory kit, you'll have the case and the tripod. Simply unzip the case and remove the laser cube from the case. Remove the tripod. The tripod is designed to hold the laser cube at multiple different angles and has adjustments that allow you to move it from around in a circle and all around at the top. Tighten up the tripod in the position that you want it, and you're going to attach it to the bottom of the laser cube. The laser cube comes with a small mounting bracket that is screwed to the bottom of the cube. This allows for a quick connect to the tripod. It's not required, but it does make setting up the laser cube a lot easier. Simply slip the connector over top of the mounting bracket and tighten it. When you're setting up the laser cube, if you're going to be having it lean backwards, it's good to have the rear arm of the tripod facing backwards to help support it. The last thing you're going to do is open up the uh, aperture cover. And you want to close that when you're done. So to turn it on, you're going to turn the power on. Uh, make sure that your interlock is connected, and then you'll insert the key and turn the key on. If you don't do it in this order, the laser cube won't come on. If the key is on when you connect or when you turn the power on, you'll have to turn it off and then back on again. Next, you're going to connect the USB connector to the back of the laser cube and to whatever device you're going to use. In this video, we're using a phone that has a USB-C connector and it connects right to the bottom of the phone. Next, you're going to open the Laser OS software that you download from free from the Google Play Store. At this point, you can simply press the play button on the bottom of the screen and to begin laser output. You can begin to explore the software, checking out all of the different options. There are uh, all kinds of images and visualizations and games to play. We'll get into more of those at a later date. When you're done, simply disconnect the cord from the laser cube, turn off the laser cube, and then turn off the key. At that point, you're done. 